Central Coast advocates are offering safety tips and guidance for people who have to work in the heat, including local farm workers. News Channel 12 reporter Karen Cruzardunia shows us what they're doing to stay safe. These heat waves are happening more and more, uh, you know, particularly due to climate change in recent years. While some try to beat the heat with air conditioning, farm workers are still out in the fields without much protection from the weather. Farm workers are, are one of the most vulnerable groups of workers to, to heat illness. Local organizations like Cause are providing safety tips to farm workers during this heat wave. To make sure that your, your uh, company is providing water that is cool, that is accessible, um, and that has separate individual uh, drinking cups. And giving reminders of their labor rights. Agricultural companies have to provide shade for workers, and above 95 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, companies have to provide an additional 10-minute uh, uh, break, so a 10-minute break every two hours instead of every four hours. Healthcare professionals say heat strokes are very common during heat waves like this. The main symptoms are nausea, um, you know, nausea, vomiting, uh, and a lack of sweat um, when, when it's hot outside. Nurses say if you are experiencing heat stroke symptoms, to go to the hospital immediately. Heat stroke is a very serious condition. Um, it can cause brain damage. Uh, you have a full on, on stroke. It they add that the best way to prevent heat-related illness is to simply hydrate. At least another four glasses to eight glasses more water, especially for the, the farm workers out there. Um, but to add the electrolytes, that, that's what's going to help them a whole lot. Karen Cruz Orduña, News Channel 12.